John Paul, born on 21st March 1763 in Wunsi, Delhi, in Germany. Died on 14th November 1825 in Beirut, in Germany. Jean Paul said, Despair is the only atheism. Jean Paul was a German romantic writer, best known for his humorous novels and stories. Despair is the only atheism. Despair. Despair means love or be without hope. Lose. Despair means you lose, you lost. Or be without any hope in the sense without any results. Without any hope in the sense you are not being able to flow flowing waters, fresh water, stagnant water, sting. You get stagnated and you believe that, that stagnation of your meditation. God will come and give you a water, a power which you can use it. No, you can sit only after you have flowed. You felt the flowing water, not only the flowing water, you have flown and fallen from the top of the hills and the mountains down into the rocks, broken your hands and legs, understood the severe pain and going through the roots of several, several trees and animals and snakes. And then at the end you move into the rivers into the lakes and rivers and again you fall this side and that's you keep traveling and when you reach the ocean that is a time that is a time you can sit and meditate lose or be without any hope you are sitting there and you think the result will come to you and major part of the Rishis, major part of the spiritual people went wrong because they were sitting without traveling that path. Traveling that path is your beautiful karma yoga. You have the power. Why should you think what others are thinking? You go and you travel and travel. And when you sit in meditation, yes, then the vara will come, the power will come. You are the power yourself, and your body has become a magnet. You do not have to think whether it is magnet. You are the polished. People are polishing you. They are pouring milk into you, ghee into your vigraha, into your idol, and they know it because it is a polished mum. It is a diamond. It has to be non-stop pork polished for it to shine and for the people to benefit. Despair is the only atheism. Yes, the complete loss of absence of hope. You have lost, you thought you have lost complete hope because somebody has slapped you and then you found tears filling your eyes. Tears stops you from seeing another opportunity. Please try to understand that one part. When you slap, when in the Jesus Christ said, show your other cheek, slap, never mind. The more slap, the more power, the more punishment you can take, even in, in the martial arts. They first teach you to take the punishment, to take the punishment, the amount of punches you can take on your chest, on your leg, bah. To take a punch on the chest, you have to do huge amount of push-ups. You have to overcome your pain, you have to make your pain your slave not become a slave to your pain you reach a stage where you think you cannot move any more push-ups that is the time you start your count and then there is no need a block you yourself can take the punches because chest is powerful and once you know to take the punches you know how much power the other side has got and accordingly you can strike him because the other side chest is not powerful, other side hand is not that powerful. You are able to take means your hand is that powerful with your, with your push-ups. And then you see the result, the other side is knocked on. You can take any amount of low kicks. You keep on taking punishment, yes, that is called you taking a lot of punishment. To take that, in, that kind of punishment, you can do a lot of scores and duck walk and throw. Everything including your leg which makes your 
ties on your knees very powerful and when you're able to take and when you hit the other side which is not done which is not done anything over over the period the legs are very weak you give one shot you can see a proper knockdown lose or be without hope is called despair the complete loss or absence of hope or not being able to improve a situation not being able to improve a situation yes that is the despair why you are not being able to improve a situation because you are going straight line if you go straight line you are beaten any catch over here it's a twist and the turn pack the lock the lock which makes you go in a straight line you can just just a twist and you can see the lock is opening the lock is open yes the twist people forgot the twist and the turn they are always trying to become either on the capitalist or on the communist or you are either atheist or with the god you have to twist and turn to understand like how the person stagnant water keeps moving flowing water for you to sit in meditation i have a, i had a student she went to the, she had a chest pain and then she was taken to the St. John's Hospital and St. John's Hospital doctors were shocked. How can you keep the child like this? You people are mad. You have to immediately enter into an operation. You have to do this, do that. Otherwise, you will not get the child. I took her to the our family doctor, school's family doctor. She also said, oh my God, she's in a very pathetic situation. And forget about that. Huh? She cannot marry and, and even if she marries, she, she cannot become pregnant. And if she becomes pregnant, she'll die. This matter was taken to her father. I also took her to naturopathy doctor. Doctor looked and he said, ah, this is a simple thing. I can clear it up in one month's time. But her father was had a different idea. She took her to traditional medicine people. I said, I don't know. I was a little shocked. Even this doctor said, this man is mad. Maybe he must be an atheist. He doesn't believe in us. He doesn't believe in God. And... The man went to two or three places, gave her uh, traditional medicines. After that, her marriage was fixed. When the marriage was fixed, I told the father, look, this is what the other dog did. He said, never mind, marriage was fixed. She got married, she got two children. <laughs> the despair is only atheism. Athe atheist is a person who disbelieves or, or lacks belief in the existence of lacks belief in the existence of God, in the existence of the result, existence of the happiness, existence of you have. You don't believe your father and mother because you have not seen your birth. So you become an atheist. Simple. Because you said, I have not seen. One day I went to the kitchen and I told, yes, I have made this food today. All this cooking is mine. And then I heard a laugh coming from the kitchen. <laughs> it was an angel's laugh, but for me it was a devil's laugh. It was an atheist laugh. What was the laugh? They laughed because they made the chapati, they made the curry, and I am declaring it was I who made it. For them, they are right. Yes, the laugh of that angel was right. They are, for me, they are, they are an atheist. For them, they are the truth. They were telling the truth because they made with their own hands. But didn't I also put a hand? Didn't I give them the material? Didn't I work hard to bring the material to make sure the material reaches the kitchen? And didn't I give them a salary? Didn't I give them a timetable? Didn't I give them a timetable and the people to make sure that the food is made? Didn't I tell, tell them what kind of taste I needed? I give an opportunity. But for the people, I am a liar. For them, they are the truth. This is the this deep despair is the only atheism. Yes. The burden of suffering, says John Paul, seems a tombstone hung about our necks. While in reality it is only the weight which is necessary to keep down the diver while he's hunting for pearls. Yes. 
the burden of suffering, people carrying the burden of suffering, seems a tombstone hung about our necks. Yes, a tombstone means you are dead. Yes, the body has to be carried into the cemetery. A tombstone has been hung into our neck. People are thinking they are suffering. But he, Sean Paul said, while in reality, please understand those who are suffering, those who mean suffering, those who are hung to the suffering, those who are locked up in the stagnant water of your belief that you can sit because all the great masters are sitting. They showed a picture of sitting in meditation. They thought, I will also sit and Shiva will give me the water. While in reality, it is only the weight of which is necessary to keep down the diver. The diver, you are, you cannot, you can read books to become a swimmer, but you are not a swimmer. You have to first jump into the water. You have to understand the water. Problem happened is the Sanskrit culture was lost. That is from the child, from the time the child is born, child is in the water. So the fear of swimming it never comes. Once the fear of swimming is moved out, then he, she, he or she can dive and more they dive, the more happiness they feel. Here the problem is the people when they grown up, they are trying to swim. That is the time we are trying to tell them to come out of the suffering. You have locked them out like how we are locking cities of the cities in the name of coronavirus because people are in the chicken farm house, which is necessary to keep down the diver. Diver, the, the, why the tombstone is hung in, uh, around your neck is to force you to tell you are already new swimming, you are diving and you see the diving, you are getting frightened, but the pearls are on the bottom of the See, the bottom of the bed, you have to go down, dive deep down to the river bed to see the pearls, to see the ocean bed while he is hunting for pearls. That is why they hung the tombstone. Only thing is you have to be conscious, you have to open your eyes and you have to move. Yes, you have to dance when you are dancing, you are dancing when you are singing, you are singing, that is Zen. When you are eating, you are eating. Why should you stop that? Why should you stop from enjoying even that eating also? Jean Paul said, Despair is only atheism. Despair means the complete loss or absence of hope or not being able to improve a situation. To improve a situation, you have to get up and move ahead. Yes, you cannot sit in the chair and demand something. Get up and go pick it up. You feel, you feel happiness. The burden of suffering seems a tombstone hung around our necks. Which in reality it is only the weight which is necessary to keep you, keep down the diver while he is hunting for pearls. Yes, and once you see the pearls, all your sufferings is gone. The pearls is gone. Pearls is your victory. Yes, you have seen the truth. This is my 368th small talks.